I'm Dave Daly with MobileDeviceTV.com. We are here today at the 2019 Oregon Coastal Caucus Economic Summit. We have the honor of interviewing Aaron Reynolds, the city manager of Florence, Oregon. And uh, we're here at the uh, Florence Event Center called the FEC. And it's called the Taste of Oregon. And we just love uh, Aaron, you're the host this year. Um, lots to get ready for this type of event with 600 legislators and their staff here to talk about issues facing our state. And what's been your impression with the first day of meetings uh, as a city manager for the citizens of Florence? Issues that you're able to connect with these state agency leaders and our uh, elected leaders who represent the area. What's it been like today? Well, this has actually been my fourth Oregon Coastal Caucus Economic Summit that I've been able to attend. And each year I feel like I see more and more meaning and purpose in it as I get involved with issues that affect our community and also know what's happening across the state. So it's an awesome opportunity to hear from our thought leaders and our public servants at the state level what they've been working on and all their perspectives and the way they've approached problems. and you know what's the best and most encouraging part of it all is everyone here is a problem solver and they're looking for solutions that will work for the state with a special emphasis on what will work for the Oregon coast and I just really appreciate having that opportunity to hear that in person in real time yeah. and you know we're having changes uh, proposed statewide for example housing and, uh, and there was a really big housing strategy applying to cities 10,000 and over and Florence is beneath that but it's time for Florence to kind of pick its its future of housing and it's great that our state leaders said we know there's Florence uh, approach to things you can't apply a Portland filter to a coastal town and as a city manager with your city council and mayor what are some ideas that you think that the citizens are, are gonna want to come and weigh in on the direction Florence takes well, we're actually kind of ahead of the curve, and I'm really proud of Florence and our leaders of Florence, both our elected officials at the city council level, but also just our influencers in Florence. So for over two years, we've been working on housing. So many of the things that we heard as ideas today on how to work on your housing problems in your community, we're already in motion. So our, our, our phrase, our logo for the city is a city in motion. So we've had in motion working on many of the things that you heard today. So we've been working with the state and the state offices for housing to receive technical assistance to do our housing needs analysis do our economic opportunities report, update our comp plan, and we're actually in full review and update of our residential housing code right now as we speak. And so we've already been working with the residents of Florence, our business community, and those within our region talking about just that. What do we want Florence to look like for the next 20 years? And you know, an another exciting future for Florence is to partner with our uh, wineries in uh, the I-5 corridor. We learned today at the Economic Summit that 50% of a tourist coming to a vineyard in the valley comes to the coast. So to all you businesses in Florence, we want to instigate collaborations with these vineyards. They're beautiful. The pictures they showed, are they not gorgeous? They're, they're beautiful. It's, a, it's another example of Oregon's beauty that we grow here in our own backyard, right? Um, but one thing they don't have is an ocean. <laughs> Some have lakes and rivers, but one thing they don't have is an ocean, and that's a really fun experience to get people on a tour, spending a couple of hours, not only enjoying the beauty of the valley, but also coming over here to Florence. And then once they've tasted those wines and they know they like them, how great is it to come to one of our fine restaurants in Florence on Bay Street and know you've tasted that wine at a vineyard and now you get to have it with a wonderful seafood dinner. You know, other accolades for Florence, uh, the Port of Soyuz Law was voted the second most popular user-friendly port in the United States of America. And what was it like to receive that acknowledgement? You know, it's always fun when other people discover you. So I, I believe that we have a very accessible port. We have a wonderful little beach you can go walk on. It is right next to our Florence Old Town and Bay Street area that already has a name. It's already a draw for our tourists. And the fact that you can stay there for a very modest price 
enjoy the river views, take your boat out and go fishing and crabbing, and then all at the same time, in a very convenient manner, take a nice stroll and go enjoy all that Florence has to offer in our Old Town area. It's, it's awesome. And I get to work in Old Town. So when I take a walk uh, from City Hall just to get out and enjoy the day, I often head towards the port and go enjoy that very much myself. Well, I'm sure it's a collaboration by all your public works employees, city staff, our first responders of the community. It's really a, a great time to be part of Florence. For our audiences uh, who may want to get more information about Florence, where should they go? Uh, please check us out on social media. We have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and a Twitter account. Uh, as you may know, Florence is a pretty popular name, so please search for Florence, comma, Oregon. Uh, or uh, the government page and find us and we share a lot of current information on there in just a fun relevant way and then of course as always we have a website ci.florence.or.us or google Florence comma Oregon and we'll pop up. Thanks for talking with us tonight Aaron really appreciate it awesome feels so welcoming here and uh, it's been a great first day of meetings thank you for talking with me for more great stories, please visit mobiledevicetv.com. Thank you.